Our top story today, for the first time in half a century, NASA is returning to the moon. It is to be an unmanned rocket, but this voyage is a test flight in preparation to send humans back to the moon in the coming years, and perhaps in about 20 years' time, to Mars. Well, blast off is scheduled at 8.33 a.m. local time from the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. That is all being well in less than an hour's time. However, technical problems have been reported today, including a fuel leak that does uh, threaten to delay the launch. For now, though, we can speak to France 24's Chris Bockman. He's in the French city of Toulouse, which is home to the City d'Espace, that is uh, France's scientific centre focused on space travel. Chris, thanks for joining us and just walk us through why today is so important. Well, behind me, you've got the Apollo 11. Of course, the first flight up to the moon touching down was over 50 years ago. It was a long, long time ago, of course. I was just born. And so now it's the first time since then that we can really go back to the moon and see what's happening on the other side, the dark side, if you wish. And we want to also have teams who don't just touch down there, but stay there for several weeks at a time. And also what they learn there on the moon will be of use as they try and go even much further. And of course, we're talking the red planet to Mars in the future. This is a NASA uh, operation today, Chris, but the Americans aren't acting completely alone, are they? Talk us through um, how big a role France and indeed the EU has in this mission. Indeed, uh, the European Space Agency has a huge role. The Europe, um, they have a lot of companies, hundreds, in fact, across Europe who are participating in this. Here, of course, in Toulouse, we've got Airbus, Airbus Space, which are contributing enormously. Um, they're making parts that go into the vessel that will be flying up to the moon. And they'll be also taking part in making those building blocks, if you want, that will be used to build a structure on the moon. And, of course, they'll also be taking part in the operation to go to Mars. And of course, they have their own kind of rover and perseverance. They're called kind of crafts that are on Mars. So the Europeans, they don't have as much money as the Americans. We all know that. But they do contribute significantly and they do have a key role in this. And they will, of course, have their own astronauts as well, who do want to go on the moon trip as well, eventually in a few years time. Chris Bachman will talk to you later on this afternoon. For now, though, thanks very much.